Now another thing to note on this movement is that usually the movement plate side that has the greatest need for a bushing is the side where the lantern pinion or leaf pinion is located. See our leaf pinion is located right there. So this side of plate side of the movement would have the greatest need for bushing. And that's because the greatest amount of pressure is being exerted. Because if you look on the other side here, and as I move the wheel back and forth, you don't see that pivot moving around like you do on the other side because the pressure is on the pinion, leaf lantern pinion right there, which is causing the greatest amount of wear. Also, another couple other things I wanted to um, show you on this movement. There have been some previous attempts to do bushing work. And here's a great example of what not to do. Over here, here's two holes, pivot holes, that someone attempted to bush. And what they did, and you might, let me zoom up to this so you can look at this closely. Is they took a chisel or a screwdriver and pounded the brass in order to force the circle or the pivot hole back into its proper shape. Now this is real poor quality repairmanship and something like this should never be attempted. Apparently this person, whoever they were, um, really didn't know, know or understand the concept of bushing and proper repair technique. So that's not any, in any way the proper way to do it. So they took probably a sharp edged screwdriver like this and with a hammer just pounded, tried to pound, made an attempt to pound it back in there. Uh, typically that doesn't work too well. It makes a real sloppy job in a sloppy hole. And there's one other thing I wanted to show you that this repair person attempted to do on the other side. And that's in this pivot hole here. Let me zoom up here so you can see this up close. And what happened here, as you can see, they tried to force the brass material back into an oval shape, but it never really got there. So what they did instead is they drilled a hole here and screwed in this piece here, which had a nice round pivot hole, and the pivot did reach all the way through to this extension piece, and that's how they trued up that hole by attaching this extra piece on here. Again, you know, this is a lot of effort for poor workmanship. What I'm going to do is I'm going to discard this piece here, rebush this hole properly, bring it back to the condition, proper condition with the proper repair uh, procedure that it should have been to begin with. Next, we're going to look at all the tools that will be involved with the bushing work.